Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about trypophobia. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about trypophobia. Fair warning, this one's gonna get gross. So we've talked about phobias on the channel before, but today we're going to do a deep dive into a phobia that seems to affect tons of people, but that we still don't scientifically know that much about. Trypophobia is an extreme fear of holes or bumps, specifically tiny groups of holes or bumps, especially when they're clustered really tightly together. If you've ever looked at something like a honeycomb or an egg sac and become a bit nauseous or felt really uncomfortable, you might just be trypophobic. A lot of people who self-report as trypophobic say that when they see clusters of holes, they get goosebumps, start to sweat, and some even report having panic attacks if forced to stare at that object. Interestingly, trypophobic people seem to be split into two subgroups, those who experience fear and those who experience disgust. Those who experience fear are far more likely to report biological symptoms associated with panic, such as sweating, shaking, and maybe even feeling the need to run away. Those who experience a disgust response more often report feeling itchy, feeling their skin crawl, and maybe even feel the urge to vomit. Now, what these individuals are claiming to experience is a pretty intense biological reaction to something that the DSM-5 doesn't specifically even recognize as a condition. Chances are, if you're diagnosed with trypophobia, it would be considered a specific phobia, which is a category that covers an immense amount of ground. Everything from phobias of certain animals, to being afraid of heights, to being afraid of certain places like elevators or airplanes. Trypophobia hasn't been studied for very long, and major scientific papers on the topic didn't really even exist until the 2010s. At that point, researchers thought that those with trypophobia associated tiny holes with the markings found on some sorts of venomous predators, such as snakes, spiders, and even some types of octopus. Some researchers think it could be due to the similarities that those holes and bumps have with some types of putrefaction found in skin diseases. Told you this one was going to get gross. <laughs> but further studies proved that neither of these seem to be the case for everyone who experienced this fear, and that trypophobia doesn't really seem to be associated with any external stimuli other than the visual stimulus of the holes themselves. So right now, scientifically, there doesn't seem to be much of a unifying cause that would explain everybody's biological response. We do know that trypophobia does seem to be correlated with other conditions, such as generalized anxiety disorder. But remember, it's a correlation, not a cause. While it may seem irrelevant, it does forward the case for trypophobia to be recognized as a specific phobia under the DSM criteria, because many of the other specific phobias also have these sorts of correlational relationships with anxiety-related conditions. If you want to know more about the different holes and bumps in psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Feeling weird yet?